Uh, Mountain View Fire Rescue, it's their district. They got there first, sized up the fire. As mentioned, it's five to six acres, two impacted structures. Uh, at this point, we are talking with two individuals that we believe may be involved with the start of the fire. It appears to be accidental. We'll have more information when we complete interviews and complete our investigation. This does not appear to be intentionally started, but it is a human caused fire. Uh, and right now, uh, we were able to summon also those air resources that Mr. Tillery mentioned. We were able to paint a pretty good line around the fire with retardant and the type two helicopter now will hopefully be doing water drops. We have a great water source close by. This neighborhood is very close to Gross Reservoir. So there's water nearby and we're hopeful that we can keep it at five to six acres and get it knocked down today. This fire was a quick priority for the firefighting agencies in the area because it's a new start. And the goal with a new start is to attack it as quickly and as aggressively as possible. And I think we may have accomplished that. It's probably too early to tell for sure, but my staff that are on scene feel comfortable with where we're at right now. So I'm gonna turn it over to the Sheriff's Office Public Information Officer, Vinny Montez, give you some details about evacuations, road closures, all the other things going on with the Lakeshore Fire. Thanks. Afternoon, everybody. I uh, want to immediately talk about a couple uh, impacts to the community, uh, starting with road closures. So we currently have road closures at the base of Flagstaff Road at Gregory Canyon. Traffic is being prohibited from going westbound uh, up Flagstaff Road. Flagstaff Road is primarily is being used by fire, fire apparatus to go up and down that area. At Station 10, towards the top of uh, Flagstaff Road, they're using that facility for tendering for uh, vehicles that are taking water from that area back up to the fire location. There's also another road closure at Gross Dam Road and Flagstaff Road. Uh, vehicles are not allowed to go westbound from that location coming off of Gross Dam Road uh, towards the north. Uh, vehicles are being allowed to turn onto Gross Dam Road to egress out of the area, leaving the Flagstaff Mountain area towards Cold Creek Canyon for residents that might still be up there or anybody trying to get out of the area. That's fine to travel southbound on Gross Dam Road. Likewise, people are uh, welcome to travel down Flagstaff Road, but it's just a hard closure going up. Uh, lastly, the incident command post is settled up on uh, Lakeshore <laughs> Park Road itself, the command post. And there is, just before you get to the command post where Lakeshore Road divides into either Lakeshore Drive or Lakeshore Park Road, the, there's a westbound blockage there as well internally uh, inside the perimeter to help fire apparatus maintain good, good, good access to the area uh, where the fire is located. Uh, also, we sent out a message earlier uh, through Everbridge evacuating people basically west of Lakeshore. Uh, what was originally reported is up to peak to peak highway and there was I think a little bit of confusion there. Uh, specifically that polygon did not actually go all the way to peak to peak highway and we want to correct that a little bit. Uh, on the southern uh, border, it's basically Magnolia as you move west of Gross Reservoir. And then it stops the western border of that polygon where the evacuations are taking place and have took, uh, took place. Stops just west of County Road 97. And if you drew a line basically from County Road 97 and Magnolia directly to the north on the east side along the east side of Barker Reservoir, that's basically where that stops. So basically the perimeter is Highway 119 or Boulder Canyon uh, south to Magnolia, the west side just west of County Road 97 and then through uh, the east side on Gross Reservoir. That box is the area that we've evacuated and asked people to leave. If people were evacuated from the west side of Gross Reservoir, we asked them not to go over County Road 68J. That road is not a very passable road and not a safe uh, egress route out. We're asking people either to go back up to Magnolia and up to Peak to Peak Highway, or back up to Magnolia from Twin Sisters or County Road 68 down to Boulder Canyon. Either of those two are fine, just don't try to traverse over County Road 68. Uh, also, just before I got here, it was announced that uh, open space, open uh, Boulder County open space and mountain parks have closed the recreation trails around the Chautauqua area and leading up Flagstaff right now while fire crews are trying to deal with this. For more information, please refer to Boulder Mountain Parks and open space uh, websites and or uh, social media when those are going to be reopened. Uh, I'm happy to field any questions about what I just said or anything else that you need clarification on at this point. Uh, we'll go ahead and open that up and then I'll turn it back over to you. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, we're hearing that a person was taken into custody after sparking the fire as a result of fence cutting. Is there any truth to that? Sheriff, do you want to talk to that? Or you... So I don't know the exact details. Um, 
It does sound like there were individuals working on a property in that area. I don't know exactly what they were doing, but we are talking to them about how the fire started. Uh, I can clarify that one home was impacted. We do not, uh, we cannot confirm what that second structure was at this point. Uh, we're still working to confirm that. Were they in the Lakeshore community? It was on Lakeshore Park Drive, or Lakeshore Park Road, yes. When you say impacted, have they been burned down? Can't really get into that yet. We're, we're still working to contain this, and we will analyze the damage once we get a uh, full handle on the on the fire. Uh, once we've got that done, then we can go into and, and determine exactly what happened, where it happened, and when it happened. With uh, now two fires in the county, have uh, resources been shifted from Lyons down to Lakeshore? I can speak to Mountain View Fire Rescue. We had multiple resources that were up on the Stone Canyon fire overnight, yesterday and today. Uh, as soon as this call dropped, we did send those resources here to this call. We also brought additional resources from our other stations nearby to, to this call as well. Sheriff? Yeah, there were other resources also summoned, um, both from that fire and from other neighboring agencies that are well south of Lyons. So yeah, we're, we're kind of pulling the puzzle pieces together and trying to get all the right people in the right place and attack this fire quickly. Are there still uh, any resources? I know there were fighting the fire in Loveland, or have they all shifted down to here? I know you were in Loveland earlier. Um, have all of Boulder County's resources shifted back? To well, there are resources from all over the state working on all of the fires. So, uh, you know, right now in Lyons, there's fire trucks from Pueblo. So they are all falling under a, an incident command tomorrow where we will be able to better get a handle on everything we have on scene, everything we're doing and who needs what when. And so all of those shifts are a little dynamic. Um, we didn't pull anything from Loveland to come up to Boulder County today. They have a lot more going on down there. Um, we feel pretty good about where Stone Canyon's at. We also feel pretty good about where we're at with Lakeshore right now. Can you speak a little to the four firefighters who were injured in the Stone Canyon fire and what happened? I don't know. Um, I So I don't know extent of injury. Um, I Vinny may know. So I got information there were two firefighters that were hurt today. I can't give you specific details. And then from what I understand, there were some two other firefighters that had ailments as a result of just the environment, but not necessarily as a result of the fire. So I can't really speak indefinitely about that because we haven't been briefed from those fire agencies about that. And I, I don't feel comfortable speaking about that. Um, one other thing that I just received while uh, we were talking during this press conference is uh, it looks like Boulder ODM through our channels have just updated an update to the evac area, which I think maybe they've just done an all clear. So I just want to recommend everybody still pay attention to our communication channels. Uh, Rick just mentioned earlier texting for text message notifications, BOCO info to 888-777. We're pushing everybody to boulderodm.gov. Even though we've been uh, messaging information out on the Stone Canyon fire, we've also started messaging information directly about the Lakeshore fire. And we did set up uh, an evacuation point at 1333 uh, Iris Avenue. That's the North Broadway complex at Iris and Broadway. Originally, there might have been some messaging that went out indicating that was at the East Boulder Rec Center. If that's still out there, that is incorrect. It was actually the uh, 1333 uh, Iris Avenue. Aside from that, uh, I think that covers pretty much everything today. Are there any other remaining questions before we close out? So with Governor Polis earlier today declaring that disaster declaration for the fires up north and uh, down south. Does this fire in Lakeshore, is that included in that disaster declaration now? Not that I'm aware of yet. Um, due to the size of this fire, it's still under the purview of Mountain View Fire Rescue. It would have to start to exceed their capacity before it was delegated to the county, and before we would be looking for state resources. Uh, we, we do have a lot of um, agreements for equipment and resources on day one of a fire and all of those are in play for example the air support that we got today um, but i'm not sure this fire is going to be big enough to meet the disaster declaration
guys able to say if there's any containment at this time on this fire since it is so small? Yeah, not yet. Um, I, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I think we have a pretty good line painted around it with retardant, uh, but I'm not confident saying it's contained until we know for sure that we have active flame taken care of and we're really not concerned there's going to be any more spread. Sheriff, I just want to make sure I get this right. With the two people we're talking to, have they been arrested or are they just talking to them? Nobody's been arrested. Anything else, folks? All right, thank you very much for your time. We